Hi! And we are going to continue with our third video of today, which is going to be transparencies. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm attempting to make a glass with transparencies in about 15 minutes, so I am not sure I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> but anyhow, transparencies are usually um, something that people are very interested in. They make things look very realistic. So it might be transparencies on eyes, it might be transparencies on glass, it might be transparencies on bubbles. This technique will help you to deal with all of those problematic things. So I've set up myself a um, little still life. I put a glass and I've done it with a white background to make it a lot easier on me because if I've got the table and other colors coming through, um, it's going to be a little bit harder. So I think if you try first with a very, very simple object, like a glass, um, try for the glass to be quite simple. Um, it's going to be easier. So the first thing I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave the white background. Yeah. And I'm going to grab a smallish brush just to get the drawing done. So for the drawing, I'm going to use a light gray so that I don't commit to anything. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is get, um, so also, ah, I'm thinking on my feet, I'm going to use a water, um, watery paint so that it's not too thick so I can cover any mistakes easily. So if your paint is very, very thick to begin with, you won't be able to cover it easily. Yeah. So the first thing I'm doing is getting the round bit at the top. Yeah. And then I'm going to make two straight lines, or kind of like slightly going inwards. And I'm using my hand for that, so I'm not moving my fingers when I want to make straight lines. What I do is that I move my whole hand. A little bit long, but anyhow. And here, I'm going to round it up at the bottom, yeah. Tighten that a little bit, and then I'm gonna make a little circle on the inside for the bottom of the glass. Okay, so that's my basic drawing. Oh, there's a base to to it as well. Okay, that's my basic one. So next, I'm going to go with all of my darks because I'm painting in acrylic. I need to establish all of my darks first. My dark is a little bit on the bluey side, which is a bit wrong, but hey. So darks. First of all, everywhere that I see a dark, I'm going to put it in. a medium brush as well for other bits that are bigger. I'm kind of like keeping it a little bit on the watery side to begin with. It's always better to start watery. Yeah, You can always add thickness of paint and more substance as you move along but if you have it too thick at first you can't take it back I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit the darks as I always say on every single class and every single video I've done it's better to exaggerate your darks first and to add them on later and now I'm gonna water down the paint a little bit more Add more in other bits. Next, I'm going to move on to a lighter gray. So I could use the white of the paper but for the lights, but I think it's better if I show you. 
by painting the lights on rather than using the white so you know how to do it. So notice how what I'm doing at the moment on the first layers is so much darker than what I'm seeing and that's because I'm going to be lightening as I go along. To hopefully achieve a little bit more realism, but don't know how it's gonna turn out. So, once I've got the um, the largest shapes and areas, I'm gonna do a little bit of detail with my mid tone. Now basically I want to start really, so this has got to be dry. For it to work. And now I want white. Can be this one is a little bit grey, but that's okay. And I want to be starting to lighten with very watered down paint. First of all, I'm dealing with the largest areas. Don't be tempted by detail, because we all are, all artists love detail. Everyone wants to do the detail first, but just leave the detail for now. Do all of your largest areas, all of the big shapes you see, first. Yeah. So some of the transparencies are starting to come. I'm going to lighten up a little bit wet on wet. And if you're not sure what that is, I've done another video with techniques explaining wet on wet, wet on dry, stippling and all the other painting techniques. So I've done most of my largest areas. Woo! That went a bit wrong. I'm gonna blend that in. That's it. So while this is drying, I'm gonna go to some of my details. Yeah. But for transparencies to work, really, you wanna you want the surface to be dry before you apply the really really um, wet layers so i'm just gonna grab a brush a very very fine one and acrylic paint is wonderful that it dries so quickly just very carefully i'm gonna start doing some of the highlights So I'm doing this quite fast for the purpose of making a video, but you guys are going to take much longer because this is very difficult to do quite fast and you're going to achieve much better results if you take your time and you allow for each layer to dry. So here I'm going to start observing the shape. those little marks and rims see that one is not dry yet so it's not gonna 
I'm doing it, but I know it's not gonna work. Okay, there we go. It's got a little bubble in there. Okay, so now I'm going to blow. Dry, dry, acrylic paint, dry. I'm probably going to mess it up now because it's not dry and I should wait for it to dry. But hey. The curse of video lessons. So I should also have, or maybe I can grab some clean water from my glass because I don't want it to be dirty. I need my paint to be dry and clean. Okay, so oh, what I'm going to do now, I've got very, very watered down white, super watered down, and I'm just going to bring on some really, really watered down bits. always observing the shapes okay guys I think I am gonna leave it here because um, I think this is best as we can do in a short time but big tips don't be like me wait for each layer to dry and you will get much better results and why not have a look at a bubble from the internet so once once you practice with like glass and you've got like grays and your whites and um, if you look at bubbles on the internet you'll get greens you get pinks and you can do it with lots of different colors and that would be really really good fun to try and i hope you have enjoyed this and uh, it was very nerve-wracking for me <laughs> but i'll see you soon take good care everyone bye bye